Yes guys, what's going on? Hashtag Shora here. Welcome back to another video on the channel guys. And ladies and gents, we are back here today with the third and final episode of the top five players in each position. And what a way to finish it off with the attackers. But yeah guys, uh, managed to do the first two episodes without a hat on. Um, the trim was... Uh, uh, not ideal. Yeah, guys, obviously going to be running through all the best meta players for your foot champs teams in this episode. Obviously going to be the attackers here. This is the best. This is the creme de la creme. This is what we're absolutely looking for here. And we're not going to keep the intro dragging on for years. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell as well, guys. I'd really, really appreciate that. I think I've just made it a habit of just putting the cast in the shot now. Just move on. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. So here we are, ladies and gents. We're going to be starting off with the left mids, left wings, left forwards. They're all the exact same position, basically. You know, it doesn't make any difference. And let me tell you guys, there's some absolute gems in the left mid, left wing, left forward category. Like, it's so much to choose from. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, these were definitely the easiest bunch to choose from. And let's start it off with the main man, Hazard. Now, like I said in the previous two videos, guys, I'm not going to be running through every single player's stats so much to the point where we're, we're analyzing... Uh, oh, 34 defensive awareness. Uh... It just wasn't funny, was it? Yeah, obviously, guys, we're looking for all the main meta stats. Now, one thing I quickly want to touch on with sort of left mids and stuff, as much as they might start at left mid in your, like, starting formation, you know, whatever that may be, in-game, a lot of the time, like, a lot of players in this left mid section and in the right mid section as well, they're good enough to play cam, they're good enough to play up front, so you might switch them on the in-game formation anyway, and one of them players that is a perfect example of that is the main man, Eden Hazard. Now, Hazard is unbelievably well-suited to a cam. Five foot nine, four star, four star, 92 agility. Right, now, guys, this is quite similar to the cam situation the other day. We're looking for very good agility on basically left mids and right mids and obviously a lot of pace as well. Now obviously this video is we're doing the best players in each position so we've got to get left wingers in there but Hazard if you guys are playing him obviously don't get me wrong on the wing he'd be great but I would advise switching him to cam in game so obviously starting at left mid but then playing at cam in game. 88 pace, 82 shooting, 83 passing and 92 dribbling and for the price you're getting for guys I think he's like 80k. Now he was in my 500k squad builder and for Hazard to be under 100,000 coins still having 92 agility is an absolute joke. He'll be quality for you at cam and one of the most meta players in the game. Four star, four star leaves a little bit to be desired, but we've got plenty of that coming with the other players with five star skills and five star weak foot. So there's absolutely no need to worry there. Next up guys, we've got Son. Now this is another player who was actually in my uh, in my 500k squad builder as well. Son, we all play against him in weekend league. He's just he's just one of them players that you just think, oh God. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, four star skills, five star weak foot. And that is another thing that I can't stress enough to you guys, how important five star weak foot is or five star skill moves. And then, you know, having them both, which there's a few players in this video that do is obviously just like unbelievable unbelievably ideal. But yeah, on a real guy, Son, don't get me wrong, again, another player that would be decent on the wing, but if you could get him at cam or striker, I'd probably say he's more suited to a striker with that five-star weak foot. It's one of the best meta things in FIFA, guys. I can't explain to you enough. Somebody not being able to predict what foot you're going to shoot on in the box is probably one of the best meta things that you can get in the entire game. It means you can do any skill move any way. It means you can turn any type of way you want at any time that you want, and people have got to expect every single angle because it's just going to go in. It's going to go in on either foot, you know, so you're chilling. But yeah, just amazing stats. 88 pounds pace, 86 shooting, and 87 driven. Really good stamina as well. And obviously, guys, like I said in the previous two episodes of this as well, another huge contributing factor to them being meta players is the fact that they link to all the best leagues. That's what you've got to remember as well. And Son, obviously, getting into all Prem teams and stuff. You can get him into hybrids and things like that. And for the price you pay, it's just over 100,000 coins. He's unbelievable in this game. So that's absolutely sensational. Son, really, really good. I definitely advise him. Next up, we have Sadio Mane. Now, we're going up in price a little bit here. Now, like I said in this video, guys, I want to get a few cheap players in a few expensive ones. But at the end of the day, I am just picking all the best meta players. So if it's unfortunate, they're all expensive. That's just how it is. But yeah, Sadio Mane, again, that agility is unbelievable. The stamina is great. Now, Mane, I would actually advise playing Mane out wide. As much as at Cam or Striker, he'd be ridiculous. He can play him anywhere. He can play Lamb, Ram, Cam, or Striker. Well done, Alex. Reeled them all off real, real good there. <laughs> Mane, definitely good enough for pro players to be using. All these players are good enough for pro players to be using. But like the, the, the creme de la creme, the guys right at the top, Mane is basically one of them players. Blister in pace, unbelievable dribbling, great stamina as well. And the shooting and passing is really good. And obviously gets links to some really good players. We're going to see a lot of themes here, guys. High pace, high dribbling, high shooting. It's obviously what we're looking for in attackers. But honestly, these are the best meta players in the game. Next up, Dembele. Now, we've all heard so much about Dembele this year. I show him like a broken record at this point. But yeah, guys, like I've touched on earlier in this video, five-star skills, five-star weak foot. It is just the perfect combination. One of the most important things in FIFA that's very similar to FIFA 20 that kind of is this year is once you get the ball on the edge of the box, it's that you need that little bit of flair. You need that last bit of magic in order to beat the centre-backs. And you know, guys, a lot of the time in foot chance, people have their teams right the way back, like drop back, basically, which obviously makes it very hard to beat them. But with five-star skills and five-star weak foot, you give yourself all the angles to shoot on and all the possible skill moves in the world to be able to, you know, get past the players and put the ball in the net, you know what I'm saying? If you guys didn't get that, I said to get the ball in the net, um, because obviously I'm just being 
being a Muppet. Brilliant. But yeah, guys, not much to say about Dembele other than he's just absolutely unreal. That 77 shooting, you get like a dead eye on him or something like that. He goes up loads and he's absolutely sensational. 92 pace and 86 dribbling. And for the price you get him for, boys, he's so cheap. And realistically, for you guys who have sort of 200 to 500k teams, even like a million coin teams, if I'm not seeing Dembele in the squad, there's something wrong. We want the best meta players and Dembele, on my road to glory, I'll be doing soon. Dembele's going straight in there and he's going to be used the whole way around. And finally, guys, we've got Neymar, the best winger in the game, realistically. Now, Neymar, for all of us pros, all the pros use Neymar, guys. He's absolutely ridiculous. Five-star skills, five-star weak foot yet again. 91 pace, 94 driven, 85 shooting, 86 passing. He is a joke. He may as well base. He's like an icon. He's literally like an icon, Neymar is. And his normal card will now basically last until team of the season time until you need to upgrade it. Obviously, you know, a lot of the pros will get team of the year cards, whatever. But he's so good, guys. And don't get me wrong, you can play him out wide. I would personally play him at Cam. That's where I play him as a pro player. Uh, and a lot of other pros do as well. But yeah, that agility is just such a joke. 81 stamina is good enough as well. And again, guys, I can't stress enough how important 5 star 5 star is in the game. One of the best tips I can give you guys, one of the best tips I can give is learning 5 star skill moves. Learn. Don't, do, you know, don't overdo it. Don't try and learn every skill in the game because then your head will just be fried of what skill to use. But try and master a few skill moves, you know. That's the way that you're going to improve the best at FIFA, mastering a few skill moves that work for you. And guys, the sort of honorable mentions that I've got on the bench here, we've got Douglas Costa coming in first. Now, the reason I put these two as honorable mentions is because they're a little bit more expensive, but their normal cards are also very meta as well to the game. So Douglas Costa's normal card's also very decent with great links. I think on this card, his pace goes down a little bit because it's the rule breaker one, but his shooting goes up quite a lot. I think he's about 400,000 coins or something like that. So he's relatively expensive. But to have five star skills yet again, guys, the dribbling's unbelievable. Again, another player I'd probably suggest to sort of bring into Cam. That's why we're looking for sort of 90 pace plus. Now, obviously 89 pace, that's fine. But yeah, at Cam, you want to utilize that dribbling and Cam's one of the best places for that. And finally, guys, Alan St. Maximum. Again, I know this is very expensive, but we can just use the normal card if you want to. But yeah, he's just absolutely ridiculous, guys. 95 pace. Obviously, the shooting and passing is not that high. We, we want to put that up. But St. Maximum is someone that I just want to play on the wing and I just want to run. I, I've got the skill moves. I just want to have fun with St. Maximum. You know what I mean? French as well and in the Premier League gets the best links in the entire game. Like I said, guys, in the previous videos, French is the best nation. Prem is the best league to be able to link players into meta squads. And St. Maximum is just one of them players who can do that for you so well. And his normal card's so cheap, guys. Obviously, I've put the info in because it's the best card. But again, 96 agility. We're seeing a bit of a theme here. Being agile on one of these players is very important. Again, he would work really well at Cam, but playing out wide as well, he's absolutely sensational. And that is the left mids, guys. Now, honestly, before we move on to the right wingers, I'm just going to explain quick. These left wingers are absolutely ridiculous. Try and get as many of these in your team as you can. Even if a few of them are off chemistry on seven chemistry, eight chemistry, whatever, try and fit them into your team, guys, because let me just say the right wings, we'll go into them right now. They just aren't as good. Let me just be honest. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to spend as much time talking about the right mids here, guys, because realistically, there's not a lot here I would advise for you. Don't get me wrong. These players are still very, very decent. We'll jump straight in with Lucas here. Again, very, very high agility, great pace. We want to put Lucas out wide, just absolute blistering pace on the job. But what's a shame about the right wingers that we've got here on theme, guys, is there's not really many five-star skillers uh, or five-star weak foot players, really. But yeah, Lucas, obviously great for links. Brazilian Spurs player. Again, great links potential for all the players that we've covered in the previous two episodes, midfielders and defenders, as well as attackers as well. Decent card, Mora. And moving on to Bale as well. So Bale, I would still say is like quite a bit of a winger. You could play him at front or Cam as well. All these players work at Cam, Lam, Ram, and Striker as well, guys. They just can be slightly more suited either way. Bale, obviously his card's not as good this year, but with Bale and Lucas, I just want to give you guys some sort of cheaper players, because they're not really costing too much on the market anymore. Bale's downgrade this year, by the way, is an absolute joke. Like, he should not have gone as low as 83. But yeah, not the greatest card in 78 agility. Like I said, guys, the right wings. Like, you know, with the cams the other day when I was there, like, it's a real struggle. Uh, this was also a bit of a struggle, I'll be honest. But yeah, he definitely gets in the top five for me here, Bale, just because he has that little bit of strength. He's one of them players that, like, plays above his stats a little bit in-game. You guys know them kind of players. And we've got a few players coming up in the striker position. I'm sure you guys could probably guess who it is who play, like, above their stats. But yeah, Bale, decent too. Now, Sancho moving on to the next one. Now, a bit of a different one here in Sancho. Obviously, in the Bundesliga, still some great links to go off. You know, we've got, like, players like Zakaria, Lehmer, Klosterman, who we've covered in the previous episodes. And then English as well, he can link to a few players like Joe Gomez, Juan Basaka. But yeah, five-star skills, just a fun player, Sancho. That 91 dribbling is absolutely ridiculous. Would definitely advise Sancho at a cam position, though, boys. Out wide, don't get me wrong, he should still be decent, but 83 pace is not the greatest. And you would definitely want to whack a Hunter chemistry style on him as well, guys, because he has 83 pace and 74 shooting. That's more to be desired. We've got plenty in the dribbling there, do you know what I mean? And moving on next, we've got Mohamed Salah. Very, very decent card this year. Again, five foot nine, great agility, great stamina, great pace. Perfect for links as well, being in the Prem. How many times do you want to say that this video? I feel like I've absolutely broken 
broken record, guys. But it's just one of the main things in the game, to be honest with you. Again, he can work really well out wide or at a cam. He, he can do whatever for you, Salah. Very, very good in the game. Three-star weak foot. Again, like I said, the right wingers, guys, they're annoying me a little bit. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, still very good, Salah. And the final player to finish the top five with right wingers, guys, we have got Messi. Not much more we can say about him, can we? His dribbling is just absolutely ridiculous. Again, Messi's someone that I would advise starting at right wing in game and then moving to cam in game or even up front can work as well. It's just that 85 pace out wide might get a little bit exposed. A lot of fullbacks are going to be quicker than him when you're coming up against Mendy, when you're coming up against, you know, Semedo and players like that. But yeah, his dribbling at cam would just be an absolute joke, guys. We all know Messi's good. Obviously, I understand he's very, very expensive, but I'll say it for like the 68th, uh, 1,386th time, uh, the right wings were a struggle. <laughs> and two of the honorable mentions here, guys, who are a bit more like super sub kind of players, but they could also fit into very cheap teams for you guys. First of all, we got Adama Traore now. I know you're looking at it and thinking, 66 shooting, 68 passing. Alex, what are you on about? And two-star weak foot as well. It's not looking too great. Are you having a son, son? But on a real, guys, Adama Traore is one of them players that we want to bring on 70th minute and just absolutely run at the other team. And with 96 pace and 86 dribbling, I wouldn't advise him as a starter, but as a super sub, with 86 dribbling and 96 pace, when you bring him on 65th, 70th minute, he's going to burn past left backs and right backs like there's no tomorrow. And sort of same for Gelson Martins. Now, another reason Gelson Martins is very good is because he links to somebody who's going to be coming up in the upfront position. I'm sure you guys know who he is. He's striker. He's French. He plays for Monaco. We all know who it is. I'm not going to bother saying the name yet. There's no point. He can obviously be a very good link to him in sort of quite a cheaper team. Five star skills as well makes him great. Can work out wide, can work at cam, depending on what you guys want to do. You're just going to have fun with a card like Gelson Martins. But yeah, that's the right mids, guys. Right wingers. Bit more of a struggle, like I said, these players. The left wingers and left mids. There's so much more to choose from. These aren't as good. So I'm happy we finished this section now. Let's move on to the strikers. And guys, moving on to the strikers. Here we go. We start off with Richarlison. Now, very, very good player. Very good cheap player in the game. Now, obviously, I want to give you guys some cheap players and some expensive ones. But every time, I want them to be meta. That's the main thing I care about. I'm not caring about price too much. But yeah, Richarlison, guys, is that five-star weak foot and four-star skill move. So if you guys are planning on spending more coins on your defense or something like that, in your Prem team, Richarlison's a great player for you. Very good pace, great dribbling. The shooting it's pretty high at 78 as well. Like 78 doesn't feel like it's high, but with 82 finish and 82 shot power, very decent player and good stamina as well and physical. Very like all round kind of player. Do you know what I mean? Would definitely say don't play him out wide or anything though. Definitely just play him at cam or at striker. Probably striker is the best one. With that five star weak foot, like we touched on with Son, to be able to turn onto either foot, it just makes it so hard for the opponent to read. And that's one of the main things that we want in the game, guys. And next up, we've got the man Ben Yedda. We have got the man I was telling you guys about. When I was touching about Bale, who's saying like, you know, he plays a little bit above his stats. Bale don't want no smoke with Ben Yedda. The way Ben Yedda plays above his stats, guys, is an absolute joke. Four-star skills, again, five-star weak foot. Obviously, this is the inform. I would advise for a lot of you guys, just get the normal card. It's, you know, it's not much worse than this at all. I just want to put the inform in, you know. Looks best for the video, you know. Brilliant. Yeah, cool. <laughs> but yeah, great pace, great shooting, great dribbling. And I do sound like a broken record at this point, guys, but we want the same things out of attackers every time. We want to be able to turn onto both feet and shoot and use skill moves to get there. And Ben Yedda's got all of that in him. 93 agility as well. He's going to turn in the box for you so well. But that's Ben Yedda. Another quality player. Great for links as well. And next up, guys, we have got Rashford's inform. Now, what an unbelievable card this is, guys. Now, obviously, I know by default he's a left mid, but I thought to myself, there were so many left mids to go with. Strikers was actually more of a struggle. Left mids, like I've said in this video, was the easiest. So I thought I'd put Rashford striker in. But yeah, guys, you can use his normal card as well. Start it at left mid and play it up front or even play it on seven chemistry up front straight away. But what they did to Rashford's card this year was so good by upgrading that weak foot up to four star now. That makes him really, really meta. Three star weak foot, don't get me wrong. It's okay, but it's not what we're looking for. Four star weak foot makes him class. He's six foot one. He's very, very tall. So for a striker, he's ridiculous. I know he's expensive, guys, but what a card. 92 pace. 85 shooting, 86 dribbling. A few more cards and Rashford is going to be in a lot of pro players' teams. He already is in the teams now, so I can't imagine what he's going to be in a few informs time or whatever. But yeah, 88 stamina as well. He's perfect for the teams. And also, obviously, being English and being in the Prem, we're going to get great links with him as well so he can fit into all the best meta teams for your guys' foot champs teams. I Broken record, broken record. And moving on to the last two, guys. We've got the expensive but best strikers in the game. Now, these are in every single pro players' team. First of all, we've got Kylian Mbappe. Just not much you can say about him. I personally play him on the wing because my team's like R9, Neymar at Cam, CR7 at Ram, Mbappe at Lamb. However, if Mbappe is your main player, guys, just make sure you have him up front. Make sure you've got Mbappe up front because he's an absolute joke. The five-star skills, four-star weak foot. There's not really much point me talking too much on Mbappe. We all know this is the most meta player in the game, basically. 96 pace. The agility is an absolute joke. And the shooting's so high with 91 finishing as well and 86 stamina. There's a reason, like, when, I'm, when you're using Mbappe, like, it's just, you see Mbappe load up on the screen, you just think... 
I'll just see myself out at this point. Really, really good card, obviously. Absolutely perfect for links as well. The fact he links with Neymar, players like Ben Yedder, and you can link him, you know, with Kante, Pogba as well. All the French links. It's just sensational, guys. And finally, with the strikers, guys, we have got the main man, CR7. What a card. This man that turns up every year. He gets a year older every year. It don't matter. CR7 still turns up on FIFA, boys. You know what I'm saying? 89 pace, 89 dribbling. Still absolutely unbelievable. It's just like shooting, guys. It's that like shooting that's a joke. Five-star skills and four-star weak foot. Now, obviously, I know Mbappe and Ronaldo don't have that five-star weak foot, which obviously is at least a tiny bit more to be desired, but they're good enough. Do you know what I mean? The four-star weak foot. But the skill moves, like I said, guys, earlier in this video, try and learn as many skills as you guys can, because that's going to be one of the best ways that you can score with these meta attackers in the game. But yeah, even CR7's got the physical as well. He's going to win headers for you. You know, if you clear the ball up with your keeper, he's going to win headers for you nod, nod it down for you. I don't know what I just did with my head. 87 agility as well. On somebody who is six foot two, to have 87 agility is absolutely ridiculous. And CR7, I can't give much more introduction, guys. If you have the coins for CR7, just get him in your team. That 93 shooting, he just scores from everywhere. And to finish off, guys, with the honorable mentions in the team, we have got Rodrigo and Anaki Williams. Now, again, two players that are just very, very similar in stats. Don't get me wrong, they don't like excel in dribbling and shooting. However, both really high pace. 94 on Anaki Williams and 91 on Rodrigo. They can link with each other even. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, on are real guys these are the kind of players you might want as super subs or for you guys who don't have as many coins in your team these are the kind of players i would advise up front both with four star skill moves as well not the greatest weak foot on either however when they're coming for a price as cheap as like 10k or below we can't ask too much out of it but yeah guys that finishes it off with the attackers i hope i could give the best sum up of all the best meta plays in the game for you guys but yeah like i said guys as a roundup of this whole series we're looking for all the best players in the game with the best meta stats and obviously guys almost every player in all three of these episodes has been from basically the top five leagues but obviously that's what links the most in the meta teams and obviously the best nations as well but that just kind of goes without saying but yeah i would say guys honestly to round off this little series of the defenders midfielders and attackers if your teams aren't full of some sort of variation of basically all of these players somewhere then i'm a bit concerned don't get me wrong there's still some players out there because i can't cover every single one but i'd like to think guys that i've covered all the best meta players for you guys to be using in your teams and i would advise watching the midfielder and defenders one if you haven't seen it already because we cover everything ladies and gents but yeah as well guys i'm thinking about doing an icon one of these as well to basically tell you guys the best meta icons in in the game obviously i understand a lot of them are so stupidly high in price to the point where it's just there like, what's even the point r9 is like 7 million coins but if you guys want me to show you who i think the best meta icons are in each position i do that as just one whole episode do you know what i mean defenders midfielders and attackers let me know in the comments if you'd want to see that but yeah guys thanks for watching this little mini series if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel i'd really really appreciate it and turn on the notification bell to keep watching the videos we're going to keep them ticking over ladies and gents this casts off soon but we keep tanking through it and let me know in the comments as well guys if you have any other little series ideas that you want to see that sort of revolve more around in the menus just while I've got this. But I appreciate all you guys' support, man. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I will catch you guys soon.